Hey people, Indrid here, back with the Iron Oath and the Last Pride. Let's have a look at them, shall we? You've got Yurik here. Did I ever look at what your passive is? Fueled by fire, standing next to a burning enemy or cell, increases your attack by 5% 5, 5 per stack. We've got Maywin, our Guardian, Aegon, the Pugilist, Ingit, the Valkyrie, our brand new Huntress here. Precis precision Aim. The Huntress does not move on her turn, she gets a bonus 20% accuracy, okay. And Ivis are badly injured Stormcaller, who should be in an infirmary. Let me check that. Yeah, there you are. And nothing much we want from the marketplace. We are heading south to get some refugees or something. Let's the refugees. It's going to take us 13 days, almost two weeks to get there. Oh, to a cave. They're in a cave, are they? So this is going to tick down our money as we travel, I think. Yeah, that's why it's so important to get the travel speed upgrades. Save a bunch of money. After days spent on road, yeah, almost bloody two weeks. As long as they're stuck to the road, we should be finding them soon, says Rosalind. She's pretty chatty already. Up ahead, a figure suddenly emerges through the patch of trees. Barrel towards you, they're frantic. And you ride out to meet them. Oh, it's a refugee. Caravans under attack. You glance in a direction. Are the vanguard with you? Yes, but they're outnumbered. Okay, maybe we'll have some allies then for this fight. We should hurry. You twist in your seat, signaling into the rest of your companions to follow as you charge ahead. Locate and assist the vanguard. You arrive just in time to render aid. Rosemary and Aegon grapple a demon away from the other one of the soldiers, cutting it down in the process. Well done, guys. Remaining, remaining demons are felled in short order. As one of the vanguard soldiers tries to wrench their spear free of a demon's skull, another acknowledges your arrival, removing their helmet and tucking it in his side. At his side. Weary Grimace. I take it you've been sent to help? There will be more of them. Of that, I'm sure. Captain Huford sent us. That's a relief. We were too few to begin with. These folks might just make it with our help, apparently. Man turns at a muffled shout in the distance, floating across the field toward you. Across from you, another vanguard soldier crests a hill, weapon raised in a frantic sprint, sprint as he draws near. More bad guys? Yep, yeah, more demons approaching. You there, go with the refugees. We'll hold these bastards off as long as we can. We'll protect them. Good luck. The soldier nods and slams his visor down, whips around, drawing his spear and barking orders, preparing them to face down the enemy and likely their own deaths. All right, then. Let's run away. Oh, some days passing. Lowering his spyglass, Alaric mumbles something. Turns to you with a slight shake of his head, troubled look on his face. They're still following, Lord. More of them, in fact. At the rate they're gaining, I suspect they'll be all over us by nightfall. Demons? He digs around in his satchel and produces a map, unfurling it. There's a cave system not too far from here, okay. Aegon is not happy about going in the cave. It's not ideal, but it's a risk we'll have to take, so I can't say anything else. Aegon turns away, grumbling inaudibly. Appearing beside you, Rosewyn places a reassuring hand on your shoulder. I think this is just random. I don't think this is based on their personalities. Can't please everyone, Lord, but I reckon it's the right choice. Okay. Assembling your party, because that's what the five characters. Put important to consider the status of each well-rested characters get more power, more XP. Available characters are fine and ready to go. Fatigued characters debuffed with less power, less morale, and less XP. Injured characters can participate but will suffer penalties, and sometimes they're just unavailable. So Rosewind's well rested because they've never done anything yet. Everyone else is just kind of fine. Scouting report, there's demons. So our modifiers, we're more likely to find loot events. Okay, lingering effects. Negative conditions when your characters last one more round. We get some gold, we get some renown. Let's do this. All right, purchasing provisions. By default, unused. I think this is wrong. I believe there's a 75% refund now in 1.0. They haven't updated this tutorial message, I think. Unless the notes are wrong, of course. Let's take... We get some camping supplies, so let's take some... A potion, some tools, maybe a bandage to stabilize stuff. Ale here restores morale. What is this? Antidote. Dispels conditions. And there's an idol for shrine offerings. But it seems kind of expensive. You can also take gold with you. Because there are events that require gold. Such as the shrines. If you don't have an idol. You can throw some money at them I think. We'll take some. The risk is that 
if you die or run away, you lose it. But we're not going to do those things, are we? We're the last pride, damn it. Venture forth. Standing alongside the cave's entrance, you motion to the weary refugees. This is basically a generating a dungeon as it would on a randomly generated mission. As you enter the depths, a shriek at the front of the column causes a commotion. You push your way through the crowd, and there's a mutilated corpse. Maywin already down on her knees and examining the wounds. That's our guardian. They look... They turn and look up to you, scratching their brow with a pr puzzled expression. Hasn't been dead for long. Could have been demons, but I can't say for certain. Point to a series of deep lacerations. Not a human, anyway. Aegon says we're not alone down here. Tread carefully. Had this on him. Scroll of accuracy. Oh, you attach these two items. Looks like a weapon for this. Good eye, Maywin. Telling me about enchantments. I don't think you can get them off afterwards. No, but you can overwrite them. Do we have anything worth enchanting? I don't think I want... Not this. I don't think I want to enchant, like, common level items. Yurik has. Yeah, Yurik has a blue spear, and we got one for Ingit as well. So let's enchant... I think we're going to enchant Ingit's spear, actually. Because if I find a purple spear, it's going to go to Yurik. Oh, but then I could swap it around, couldn't I? Okay, Yurik gets the scroll of accuracy. So the accuracy should go to 88. There we go. I know how to press the buttons and do the things. So here's our done. It's quite bloody big, isn't it? Quite a lot of off the beaten path stuff we could do. But that all takes takes time, of course. And if every 50 time units, we'll get another modifier coming in. And they're usually bad. And when you go down a path, you need to spend time coming back again. I think maybe we'll hit this one. First. Oh, we find we find a safe place to camp right near the entrance. No, we're not going to camp here. We've got no reason to. I pressed that button by accident. That kind of sucks that we found it there. Let's see what this is. Hopefully it's a chest. Oh, it's a book. So these either give you... Oh, a new job. Yeah, they either give you a, either give you a job that you can give to your characters, or they just give you some XP. But you can only do it in town. We can't give people a job now, I don't think. Yeah, it must be in a city. I don't think I ever saw the picklock one when I was playing before. Oh, plus eight accuracy. Reveal the locations of all locked passages in the dungeon. You can identify booby-trapped locks. And less time picking locks and better odds. That's all very good stuff. Okay. Onwards. I don't know if I want to go down this side path as well. It's a fight. Hopefully not an ambush. No. What do we have? Everyone's to our right. Oh, it's a temptress. They can charm you or something. I'll put you to sleep. There's another upgraded version of this. I think with a seductress that does charm you. They have to channel it for five turns and then they put you to sleep. Okay. Immune to weakening, charming, and restraining. I don't think we do any of those things. And these guys are bad news. They can bleed you and then, like, consume your bleed conditions and heal themselves. They also have an air effect attack. Target in an arc. Vulnerable to holy damage. I don't think we have any holy... Is the blind a holy attack? I can't see now, can I? Yurik, get over there. The Huntress can move up afterwards. Let's go for it. I'm going to put my pugilist somewhere they can't be attacked. Just there. And go on defense. If you tell someone to wait, you can't move them again. So I couldn't have waited and then, and then that guy move up and then I run forward and smack him. You could run up and do your overwatch maybe. That's not worth it though. Oh, but it might have been worth waiting with her. That was a mistake. So the Guardian's going to get in there. Draw some fire here on guard mode. Here we go. 
Oh, we can't quite get the flank. Oh, but what we could do is potentially... Oh, no, I can't. I was going to put a trap there and knock that guy into the hole, but I can't get that far. So I guess we just attack you, bud. Maybe I use this. Blazing Lance. Yes, Garrett is a guaranteed burn, I think. Okay, that'll do. You're just going to run in and attack here. Because this would hurt an ally if I did the sweeping spear. Oh, we missed. She lost morale because of that. Pugilist can get into a flanking position, but then you're threatened by this guy quite a lot. So we've got some turns before that, though. I think we're just going to do a basic attack here. Solid hit. You can get a nice safe shot here. Nice. And because they're flanked, everyone is guaranteed to hit, not just the people that are flanking. But he didn't do your sleep thing. I need to blind this guy, I think, because they can do a big area of effect attack on us. Also, maybe worth healing the pugilist. I don't think. Hmm. He was for like 150 or something. I'm going to blind you. Hopefully, the pugilist can take. Ouch. They tried to bleed him, but mind over matter blocked the bleed. That was quite painful. Oh, and he can't get a kill here. I need to burn another ability to kill him. The Valkyrie could do it. That'll be two actions, though, I'm spending. The Huntress can do it. What you're going to do is take an attack of opportunity I wasn't paying attention to, apparently. And then get this guy on fire. So it's going to be the Valkyrie and a Huntress that will do that. I'm going to have you step here. And because you're kind of teleporting with the Fists of Fury, you're not going to take an attack of opportunity. And we get a flank on this guy. And big hits. You also don't want to stand in these corrupted tiles because you do less damage and stuff. And they take morale damage. Oh, I thought you do less damage. That kind of sucks. This guy finally dies. Really feeling the difference on Warlord difficulty here. Oh, look, she's channeling. She's trying to put someone to sleep. I need to heal Aegon. I think I can do it from here. I don't want to go through the fire, though. What is the range on my heal? It's only two. Here it is. My guardian kind of needs to be healed. She's bleeding a lot. Okay, they healed off the bleed there. I don't know who they're putting to sleep. I'm just going to run up into the face of the Temptress. How many attacks they're taking? Oh, and they teleport them, right. That kind of sucks. We're no longer flanking this thing. But one more hit will get them. Yeah, they're not much of a threat offensively. We can get a flank here. And I'm going to use this thing to speed this up a bit. It does more damage than a, than a normal hit. We killed the crap out of that thing. You're still bleeding. And that, he lost a turn sleeping. Uh, I can do a swap here with the Valkyrie, so I don't have to stand in that corruption. The Huntress has a skill where she does a double shot. I wish she started with that. You could use a heal here on yourself. I think I'll do it. Uh, did it heal you? 
didn't seem to heal you there. No one the hell I pressed. We could do a swap. And very nearly kill you. Another swap. That heal didn't seem to work on Maywin. Can she not do it on herself? I don't know. Oops. Loot the things. Okay, so we can go here. Yeah, she definitely used it. Didn't seem to get the benefits unless I clicked in a really weird place. Right. Where is the end of the level? Down there. There's a lot of nodes to go through. Let's scout this one. Okay, it's a chest, so it should be okay. Unless it's a trap. No, it's not. It's not locked. I think only locked ones can be a trap. I'm going to scout again. Footsteps which might reveal an enemy. Yes, reveal a nearby enemy. Okay, we know there's an enemy there now. Ah, reprieve! We got to the 50 time units, but we got a reprieve. Maybe that's scripted in this um, kind of story mission we're doing here. Yep, up to two effects will come in. I'm going to scout again. It's my last scout. That is uh, something. There is a way, here we go. Some kind of dialogue thing. As you continue, Alaric strolls alongside you. All the tired souls back there, Lord. It would be wise if you found a place to make camp for the night. Okay. I think that's a good idea. Is it going to be safe, though? 50% campsite risk. That sucks. Maybe if I move further away from that fight. Okay, 20%. Okay, so we can burn incense and you can put lookouts in. So how it works is you have all these incense um, effects. You can see they have a primary and a secondary. If you make someone a lookout by pressing this button, they do not get the secondary effects from the incense. So this is restoring health. We're definitely going to do that. Restoring ability charges at random. Definitely want that. This gives us morale. We want that. Oh, we only have two left. We can't. Okay. I feel like that's less than it was when I played before. Maybe that's in the patch notes or... I don't know. Well, we can do... We'll put you on lookout there, so you don't get the secondary effect. But that's okay, you're full health. Good stuff. Everyone's healed a bit. You are still like 90 health off max. I've got no more scouting, so we need to go into here. I could try going down this way. What do we think? Let's do it. A locked chest. Now, these can be trapped can use tools to spend 10 time units and unlock it. Let's do it. Got a scroll of durability and a scroll of shield. Okay. What's this stuff? Plus 200 durability. Does not seem worth it. it does, it's not that expensive to repair things and we're likely going to be re just replacing all this stuff. Starts combat with 30 damage shield. Requirements. Oh, it has to go into an offhand slot. Ingit does have a shield. So I think we're throwing it in there. That's very cool. Let's continue. Oh, a narrow corridor with an iron gate. To pick the lock again. You can just find random keys around, but we haven't found... Oh, no! A poisoned gas gate. Someone bruised their groin. Sprained forearm. Bruised spine. Bloody hell. Do I have any... I took a... I've got two bandages. Okay, we can stabilize two of these. Unable to sprint. 2% higher chance of enemies critting. Melee attacks deal 10% less damage. That's okay. You're not doing melee attacks, the Huntress. So I think we'll bandage these two. There we go. And hopefully no more nasty surprises. Another book of stuff. This will give us XP, I think. Yep, 100 XP. I'll take it. And the last 
anything in this path. Another negative. Enemy preparations. Your foes are now well prepared for your presence. Will ambush you in every unscouted combat. We did scout that combat, so they can't ambush us there. But I'm not sure about this node. Another chest. Loot the hell out of it. An ale, health potion, and more ale. Not bad at all. Yurik is on zero morale. And you're pretty low morale as well. We need that. There we go. Have a nice drink, guys. Back we go. Big risk going down there. With such an ill-equipped... Oh, this is not going to be any good for us. At least it wasn't anything bad. Okay, then. Oh, look. We found some stuff up here. There's a shrine. There's another chest. Do I go back for this chest? I can't... We can't get another modifier, right? So... Sure. And there's the key that would have got us through the gate. Fantastic. Now, would we get any bonuses from this shrine? We don't have an idol, so it would either cost us health or a bunch of gold. I think I'm going to leave it. If I had an idol, I'd go for it, of course. We've got to try and do this combat here. With um, not very good morale. Can I remind myself exactly of the morale mechanics? Apparently not. I don't see any morale stuff here. Is there like a... Hmm. Under a certain amount. Bad things happen, but I don't, I don't remember. Oh, there we go. You're an idiot. It's right here. Under 25 are a chance that they miss their turn. Okay. No. Oh, well. Aegon is under 25. We don't have any more ale. Hopefully good things happen to them here. Oh, we ambushed them. Everyone gained morale for that. Awesome. That puts Aegon over 25. Yeah, so there's a 10% chance of that. So that was pretty damn lucky for us. Okay, we've got a really tough anguish on the left side. So I guess we're going to bust this guy up a bit. What I'm going to do... Why can't I sprint here? Oh, there's no foot. You can't go further back over there. I was going to try and get behind him and, and get flanks going already. Do I want to use my abilities here? Because this is not the last fight. I think I'm just going to kick here. All we can do is get shots in, but at least you get them from a safe location. Yeah, we can't flank this guy. It's kind of annoying. Maybe we should have waited for them to come forward. I am going to blind you, though. I'd rather not take damage here. You can swap. Place. No, you can't. Okay, you just wait here, I suppose. Oh, maybe I still, still should have swapped with that pugilist because they're a bit... Yurik's a little bit tankier, I think. Keep kicking and shooting. Everyone should be able to get an attack this round. Do we set you on fire? No, I don't think we do. This is a crit. Nice. Damn it, you missed? What's up with you and missing, Ingot? Are they ex I think they're doing their explosion thing. So everyone just needs to leave. Oh, you have a ranged attack. That's right. Dumb, dumb. I think I'm going to heal you. Okay, that time it worked. I don't know what the heck I clicked on last time, unless you had way less hit points than I thought. Ouch! Oh, wow, that was bad. Those guys are unable to move there. I don't want to send you up to there, because that flayer might be able to get to you. 
Yeah, so just hang out here and defend. Which has not gone great so far. That explosion is really painful. Okay. Aegon is like the healthiest. Aside from Maywin, so I'm gonna send you in here. That was only 67%. Let's get you away from this corrupted crap on the ground. Haven't really been able to use your abilities that much, Huntress, but you're going to come good. She is channeling some sleep. I can heal. And I think I bloody need to. Oh, and it cleared the debuffs because of the radiance thing. Right, I'm going to set you on a fire, lady. Well, I could do a trap thing here. Because this guy has to come... It has to come through here, surely. What I could even do... Is send it into the Temptress. Which hopefully damages them both. Yes. Doesn't stop the channeling, though. You really have bad movement, Miss Valkyrie. They can get an awesome skill where they like kind of fly through the air almost. Now I can undo that and do a Fist of Fury and maybe you'll give me a kill. It does. Superb. No putting people to sleep for you. Can you get a shot here? You can. Guardian can come in. Do I want to blind this guy? No. Just gonna crack you. Ouch. Maybe I should have blinded you. That was bad. That was really bad. Just wary of this last fight we've got coming up. And the abilities I'm gonna need for it. But maybe I need to be using them a bit more liberally here on, on Warlord difficulty. Okay, we get the kill. And we got a level. Ingit leveled up. Rosewind is going to level up after the last fight. Assuming it's a fight. I assume that last place is a fight, but I'm not actually sure. Okay, Ingit has leveled. Let's get you some more health and power. Your specialized in evasion, but it's zero. Get you a little bit of crit chance. Do I care about crit chance on a Valkyrie? You're a very kind of defensive Valkyrie at the moment with your Aegis. But you do have an area of effect attack. And area of effect attacks are good for rolling crits because you roll multiple times. I imagine maybe you don't roll per enemy. Let's just give you some more health. You're good at it. And we can upgrade one of your abilities. Let's see what we get. More defense from Aegis from 20 to 25. The taunt lasts longer. I need to be using this taunt more, I think, for sure. What's tenacity? Cleanses all conditions. That's really good. Increases power instead of defense. And what do we get on this sweep? Another charge of it. Ignore defense if it's under 20%. Can mark people. Can disarm people and weaken them. Demons tend to be... Oh, we can slow people as well. Demons tend to be immune to being weakened, I think. That stuns. Maybe we'll lean into this taunt a bit more. Let's increase our defense. Let's try this. We can. We need to be able to... We can draw hits away from our pugilist and stuff. Good stuff. Wait, where did I pick this up? You're not wearing... I must have... Did I click that by accident? Wear a vest, lady. All right. We can use some potions here. You definitely need one. I think I'll do this. That's our last cast of that. We cannot use that anymore. And we'll do this. We still have tools. Are they not consumed then when we open those locks and stuff? Maybe not. See what this is? 
Is it a big fight or are we like escaping here? Nearing the exit, Lord. Maywin's arm suddenly juts out in front. You see that? A dark figure looms ahead of you. Oh boy, it's going to be a boss, isn't it? That's no ordinary demon, says Maywin. Attack, I suppose. Oh boy. A Dread Knight, 900 hit points. You have Pull of the Void. Target a vacant cell, conjuring a dark pit that roots adjacent enemies. And things can be pushed into the pit. Target two cells in a row, damaging the occupants and lowering their morale. If only one, if only the near cell is occupied, the target is pushed away. The far cell is occupied, they are pulled. Damage a single target and place corruption on their terrain. Immune to weaken, charm, restrain, fear. Okay. It's three enemies. We can maybe mob this guy and get them down quickly. And obviously in the last fight we need to use our abilities like mad. Like mad. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't get in a spot to kick you into that hole. But if everyone just stays here, maybe we can put a trap on this hex. They could go this way, I suppose. Which kind of sucks. Whatever we do, we start. Pugilist. I'm just going to wait. How far can you go, bud? You can get up to the pugilist. Do we just start hitting you now? The other ones can't get there, though. I'm going to wait. Hopefully that wasn't horrible. Can you shoot from here? You can. Maybe we'll use the overwatch in this one if that guy gets closer. Just going to put you here, Guardian. Okay, let's try this trap thing. Oh, but where do I need to go to place it? I think I need to go here to place it. Okay, if I go here, surely you're going to come to this hex, right? So we can try that. It's very finicky about where you place and get that arrow. It should really have you place it and then, and then place the arrow afterwards, you know? How much movement do you have? Not a huge amount. Let's go top of the Valkyrie here. Because you start with that shield. Now it's 83. Oh, there's that freaking thing. That was good. Put this void thing up. So those guys can't move. Yeah, we're all restrained for three turns. And we have no way to clear it. Unless we get some radiance from the Guardian. But she can't use her heal to get her ability uses up. Great. I guess you're stuck here, Mr. Pugilist. Oh, you're restrained as well. They can both get within three hexes. So I'm going to overwatch. She draws her bow there. Ah, oh, but it didn't move, look. They pulled the Valkyrie. And at least you can hit now, Valkyrie. I think, am I going to taunt you? No, we're getting attack first. But maybe just a single target attack. Since that guy's not here. Oh, single target attack. Here we go. I was trying to go back into movement mode, but it doesn't let me because I can't move. Yep, yeah, can't move. This really sucks. You need to do a lot of damage to this guy. Crunch. Okay, so much for Overwatch then. It has pulled my Valkyrie into a spot. Overwatch is going to do nothing. We can't get good shots either. Let's get a bad shot on you. Ouch. No way to heal you. Oh wait, why didn't I hit that? Oh, I think I targeted that wrong. The last turn being restrained, at least. But that was really, that really sucked. At least we can take you out. And at least Yurik isn't restrained, but you are bleeding and very low. So is the Valkyrie. Okay, we can move. We can bloody move. I'm gonna...
do this. And this. And then... Yes, I can use my Fists of Fury to get into a flanking spot. And do that. You need to get closer so that they aren't getting cover bonuses here. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Go back. You can get here and do a line attack. No, because you'll... You'll be in melee range so it'll do less damage. So we're just going to go here first and maybe next time we can do that. This time, yeah, attack them both. Oh, I see. He doesn't attack in an arc of three, it attacks two. Fair enough. Corrupting touch, ouch. Okay, we can move you at least. Gonna do the blinding attack. Is this, oh, this is holy damage. Boom. Yurik. Oh, if only I could get there, I could do my infernal pillar thing. I'm just going to fire lance you. Probably just going to suicide yourself, right? Ouch, Yurik is getting very low. If I do my kick, it just pushes them into my own characters. If you go here. But it's going to go next turn. Look how long it takes that for to fire. So I don't want to do that. Yeah, just a basic attack will kill the boss. And nobody's been down yet. And no injuries. Oh, there are injuries. We have some injuries. We have the arm injury here. And the bandaged ones. And because some of these guys are below 50% health, they have chances of getting more injuries, I think. Okay, let's get in a flanking position on this guy. And I guess we'll blind you. I assume they're just going to explode, are they? Wait, why did you attack? Yeah, end the suffering. That might down Yurik. Maybe I should have just moved you away. You would have taken an attack of opportunity, though. Unless I can finish this guy. Let's try and finish you off before you explode. I think we can do it. There we go. Cool. We got a crappy sword and a health potion that will be instantly sold because we're leaving the dungeon. Huntress did level up though. Oh, we got. Wait, what? We got another event thing. I thought it was only a two times it happens. A ray of light can be seen up ahead, motivating everyone to quicken their pace. You pause as you round the next corner, your eyes adjusting to the dim light. Never has Grace Cries brought much relief. We got out of here. Exit. Selling our provisions. We got some loot. Continue. That was rough. We've done well, Lord, against all odds. And Elon is still a few days out, but I suspect the worst is behind us. Let's collect that reward, shall we? Yes, please. Collect that reward. Rose win. We can level you up. Mending is pointless for you. You don't have power specialization, unfortunately. Let's get your accuracy up and then a bunch of points into power. And we can upgrade one of these. We need to wait until next level until we can get a new one. This is the one I like. Rapid fire. At least two arrows at a single enemy. Very good. Restraining order is great if she gets into trouble as well. True sight. Mark a target. And hone. You can bleed stuff. Probably going to upgrade Overwatch. It seems difficult to get into a position where volley is good. Can I like... I think there's a way to respec. But maybe it's only in town. I'm not going to spend this upgrade point yet then. Let's just get back to Andalon. 13 days. The stick thunder of galloping horses fills the air. A group of riders fast approaching. 
Baron the Vanguard Sigil. Oh, it's Captain Huford. There you are, with the void spawn crawling around, his parts are beginning to feel the worse. Looks behind you with narrowing eyes, surveying your company. What of my men? They were overwhelmed. The men are dead, I fear, though we can't be certain. Fought valiantly and brought us time to get away. Gained five flags. Reputation, maybe? With the Vanguard Keep, I see. A long sigh never gets easier, sending soldiers to their deaths. But we've kept these people safe. Accompany you to Andalon. Nice. Return to your caravan and set off. A moment's rest. Nine days now. Awesome. This is a complete quest thing. Ducking your head to the guarded doorway, you step towards and find Captain Hufus leaning over a table. You have much to discuss. You look a sight better than the last time I saw you. You're all well rested, I hope. Uh, I don't know about that. Damn scourge is beginning after all. But first, as a matter of your payment, 550 gold. Yes, yes, yes. Give it to me. To the next matter at hand, then. Gestures toward the fabled map. Seems those demons of yours do not give up easily. Of mine? Your deep... Oh, the ones that are chasing us. Your detour into the caves may have bought some time. But our scouts report that they're still in pursuit, heading straight for the city. Unfortunately, much of our forces are occupied elsewhere. City guard will, of course, be getting involved, but I could would not refuse extra help. Except co on contract. I have no other choice. I'm glad to hear it. Preparing our defense is just that outside the city. Meet us there, and it's going to be a fight, I guess. When you complete a contract, you'll be rewarded with renown and reputation. Renown is a measure of your overall fame within the world. As your renown grows, you'll be trusted with more difficult contracts. Additionally, you will gain renown points. Reputation measures your relationships with each noble house. When you complete a contract or make certain choices, your reputation will change. Having high reputation can lead to lower prices on service and wares. And unlock additional contract types. Now, I think there's some kind of mechanic where the houses buy for control of the different cities and stuff. And they can change hands. Two renown points... Go to the upgrades. Oh, it's telling me I get some spice and the gold, yeah. Thank you for that. Good. Okay, where's my travel speed? It's not that, it's this one. Boom. Apply. What else do we want, though? Oh, reduce the cost of retraining. Do I want to retrain my Huntress? Can I retrain my Huntress? Rosewin. Swear there's a way to do it. This is just relationships. There's the ah oh, refund attributes. But what about this stuff? How do I refund this stuff? We'll spend attribute points. No, I want to refund ability points. But I don't know how. Maybe it's only these points. Yeah, maybe it's only upgrade points, not actual abilities. That's probably it. So we're going to upgrade Overwatch, I think. More damage on it, more charges on it. More trigger range on it. That's good. I like that. Slow targets, even more trigger range. Hitting a target ends their turn. That's pretty good. I think I like the range though. Let's go down this line. There it is, look. That's how you refund those. But I don't think you can refund the abilities they have. That they start with, kind of thing. You're anemic, apparently. Okay, it's not too bad. Is Ibis? Nope, they're still injured. Marketplace. We can sell this crappy sword. We can sell this durability scroll that I'm not going to use. We can sell some spices. No, low demand in the region. Do not sell that. They don't have anything good for us to buy. Unless there's a Balladeer to recruit in here. There isn't. It's a Guardian of Valkyrie and two Stormcallers. Unhealthy lifestyle. Miracle. And greedy. 
Florin Fireborn. Skewer. Okay. Asthmatic. Headstrong's pretty good. Brave is pretty good. Not sure if I want to hire anyone right now, though. It's better to do it when your renown is higher and they come in with higher levels. We can buy everyone around, which increases their loyalty a bit. I think it said something about if you do it too much, they can become drunkards. Let's rest everyone, shall we? So I don't think there's a time, li time limit on the mission they just gave us. Rest for four days so people are no longer fatigued. Oh, do we need to put people in the infirmary? Oh, we do. Damn it. 20 days? Don't even have enough. We should put Rosewind because hers was not stabilized, I think. Bloody hell. Maybe I do need to... Pipe some people. Alright, I can do a job. I can give... Uh, Rosewin would be a good pick lock, I think. Like, thematically. But you can also just give it to everyone. So they'll all get that plus 8 accuracy. And as you get more, you just change them. I don't think there's a downside to that. So everyone's going to be a pick lock. Even Ibis, who wasn't even in the cave with us. How do I... Past time. Over here. Make camp. Cost me money. So. I make camp for 20 days. Yurik will be back, I guess. I'm going to do it for 10 at a time. Ivers has recovered. Rosewin has recovered. So I have enough to go. I've got five people, right? Oh no, Ingit. Ingit was not put in. So I rest for another ten days. Okay. Everyone's recovered. Good, 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 good. Who would be my A team then? I don't know. I really do like the Huntresses once they get that rapid fire thing, but Ibis and that Conduit is awesome. Probably drop Ingit. She does have good gear though. Anyway, let's leave. And oh, it's right here. Back on your feet. Link up with the Vanguard just outside. Two days to travel 15 pixels over there. That's some fine work. Should slow him down anyway. Lots of Preparations. Captain Hughford approaches from your side. Somewhat taking you by surprise. Hope it is enough. We will find out in short order. They really should have little portraits for everyone. I think. Can trust this position to your company. I've left a few of my men under your command. Okay. And he's off. Okay, so this is going to be just a straight-up fight. It used to be that they put modifiers in these that didn't really make sense because you weren't in a dungeon, but it looks like they've taken them out. We get some allies. 300 gold reward. We can't retreat. I'm going to take everyone but Ingit, I think. Let's do that. Alrighty, can I actually control these guys or are they just going to do their own thing? Not sure. That's not too many enemies. Three? Four. Three. But there might be more spawning. There are combats where stuff can spawn in. So these guys are really weak, risen ghouls. Sacrifice themselves and heal people on their own team, of course. Or a little bit of damage, but you can like one shot those guys when you've leveled up a bit. Oh, there are four, dummy. The Temptress up here. We could rush down that Temptress, I think, pretty effectively. Can I swap with you? 
Oh, I can. And I can move them around. Okay, maybe I'll leave you two to take on the ghoul. The rest of us can fight the rest of the stuff. Start the combat, please. Okay, pugilist. Instantly gonna fist of fury. Oh, I could kick you into the wall, actually. Yeah, let's try that. That was a good chunk of damage, 154. It may be Overwatch time. If I go here and Overwatch, I think it would be a pretty good spot. Oh, they do a big chunk of damage, though, eh? Okay, you're doing your sleep thing. You definitely need to come here and block the path to our archer, but also not engage that guy so they have to move. I do get to control these fellas. Cool. Yeah, stab with spear. Nice. Okay. I may move you forward and wait, or... Oh, this is zap her. Or not. Just miss, then. Damn it. Sent my pugilist to sleep. Not cool. I'm gonna... Trap. Oh, I can't trap. No. I did not mean to do that. That was my overwatch hit. Yep, reinforcement's coming in. Oh, reinforcement right there. What if I put a person there? Ouch. It's only a 59% chance to hit. And I missed it again. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Run these guys up here. How about you? 60%. And we missed again. And you're getting really low. Oh, I can do my Infernal Pillar, finally, and hit these two. How's about that? Ouch. Here comes a dog thing. Cat, whatever. That guy looks weird. Alright then. 71% chance. There we go. Finally. Made my pugilist bleed there. My guardian really needs to heal herself. Okay, they are going to get a turn to do it. Unfortunately, it spawned this bloody thing right here. So now we're losing damage. Well, I'm going to... Can I even do this here? No. Too far away. I may need to move away. And just take a hit. I think I'm going to do it. I didn't take a hit. Okay, I'll take it. Ponder it on this big fella. To kill them before they explode, hopefully. Just got to focus them down. You're definitely going to heal yourself. Took some good hits for us, though. Okay, you healed off the bleed, which means you're not going to attack. There's the conduit. And you can do another one of these. Which apparently doesn't kill the big fella. Are oh, you going into explosion mode? We can easily deal with you. Okay, my monk is back. And I think I might kick this thing into the wall there. This might one-shot it. Yes, beautiful. Um, Archer. You can get the kill. This guy's teleporting around. Oh, boy. 
right onto my mage. And a Dread Knight. It's a bloody boss. You prod me. Attack and taunt a single adjacent target. Okay, you're an apparition. Not subject to attacks of opportunity, but are unable to move and use an ability on the same turn. But they mess your morale up just by moving to you. Great. Uh, I'm going to get in a flank on this. And start stabbing. You need to come around and help with this fella. Nice. We're going to blind you. You're in a bad spot. I don't want to stand on that corrupted crap though. Oh, I can swap with you. Yeah, do that. And... I can't finish you off, unfortunately. And you're going to move before a conduit goes off, aren't you? Yeah. Still worth doing, I think. Nice! Block there. I don't know what the block chance is, because sometimes this game mentions blocking. But I don't see any reference to it in here. I mean, she doesn't even have a shield. Or maybe it was... Maybe, yeah, maybe it is just a miss kind of thing. Alright then. Let's get you into a flanking spot there, buddy. And fire. 224. Beautiful. Ouch. That's alright. We can kick you with our monk now. That guy's going to die to the conduit. And now it's just this Dread Knight, and I think we're okay. How far can you move, Dread Knight? Oh, you have that thing where you do the bloody black hole of crap, don't you? Yeah, this thing. Which is not cool. I'm just going to put you here, Huntress, and wait. There is a little ghoul, but they are easy to take down. Okay, Dread Knight, what are you going to do? Moves up and does the thing there. It's not too bad. It's rooting this fella, but he's just a bloke with a spear. And you are able to attack. You won't really get much support if you do, is the problem. I don't know if you get anything for keeping these guys alive. Hmm. Let's send you in. And you're gonna miss, okay. Oh wait, I can move. Am I not adjacent to the pull thing? I'll take it. Probably going to need to heal yourself, though, again. Good stuff. And you. Is there some way I can use... I guess this guy's just going to move straight, right? You would think. So let's try and push it into the boss, maybe. With this trap here. You're going to conduit. it but you want to get into a spot where you don't lose damage like this. Here, maybe? It's risky. The conduit's so good. Maybe over there. But it still might have the cover bonus. I don't want to put him there just in case this guy turns first and goes that way. So we'll put you here. And conduit time. It's your last conduit cast. Huntress. Can't move. An animal can't shoot either. Really? Should be able to shoot. Yeah, you can. It's just a really crappy shot. Yeah. Alrighty. Zemunk, let's go around this way, do a sprint. Huntress, another crappy shot here. Misses this time. 
Oh no! Dodged me trap! What an asshole. There's the conduit. Uh oh. Oh boy! Big crit on the storm cooler. This guy still can't move. The guardian could uh, heal the storm caller or let's go here start cracking on this guy I'm gonna blind you just because it does a bit more damage and here's the kill good and you're still tanking the boss well done buddy we need to move to here can't do any more conduits and this would this would hurt the the good guy, so. Oh, we've got a static charge up. Do I remember what that does, though? Increase the chance that they're stunned. That's pretty good. You still can't move. At least you're hitting. Mostly. You also still can't move. How healthy are you, Maywin? You're okay. So, oh, you might need to heal Yurik though. Where could I heal Yurik from? Not too far, fortunately. There we go. Not going to heal this fella. Hopefully, oh, I think the traps do hit allies. So he can't go that way. And we missed. Let's... Can I kick you into the trap? Fortunately, I'd also kick the... Yurik? Oh, no, he won't. Do that. Beautiful. Awesome death animation on that fella. Can I get some good loot, please? I get a really crappy bow. It might be better than the one she has, though. She might have, like, a starter bow or something. Two levels. Sounds of like combat fade. A place with a resounding chorus of cheers. You glance around the battle lines, observing the cost of hard-fought victory. We didn't lose any of these guys. A familiar voice calls out. It's Captain Huford. Costly victory, but a victory nonetheless. Glad to see you're still standing. Much I need to oversee here, but stop by the garrison later and we'll see about your payment. Very well. Survived. Awesome. Back to Andalon then. Takes us four days. Enter the city. Is this bow better than your bow, Rosewyn? Yes, you, you have a cracked bow at the moment. There you go. Aegon. Some more health for you, bud. And crit. All the crit, please. We can actually give you a new ability here. Which is awesome. Crippling Force. Strike an adjacent enemy and warp directly behind them for a second strike that pushes them away. Not a lot of power on it, though. Only 65, but being able to move people is pretty good. Target self or a single ally. Cleansing them of negative conditions. That is very powerful potentially those conditions can really mess you up channel for five turns and heal yourself or battle instinct increases evasion defense and power by 35 percent for three rounds that's really good in instances where we can't reach an enemy to attack them we could use this they're all really good i think and the heal is pretty awesome so is this I think I'm going to go for Battle Instinct. I may rue not taking a way to get rid of conditions, though. Let's take this. And we get an upgrade point. We can upgrade this immediately. 60% power increase instead. Or more duration. Fifteen percent more crit chance. I like that a lot. It says adjacent targets. Does that mean allies as well? Ignore attacks of opportunity while it's active. Killing blows extend it. 
Oh, but I get stunned when it wears off. That's really bad. That's really bad. What is this? Ignore flank status for the duration. Reactivate the mind of a matted passive. I really don't like the sound of this. I guess it's good if you can feed them kills. Hmm. Oh wow, big defensive bonuses up here though. I think I'm going to go duration. That means we get four turns of it. And then we can go up anticipation, I think. For those defensive bonuses. I could have upgraded these things as well, of course. Weakening people, extra charge, it's all good stuff. And Maywin. We can give you a new ability. I'm definitely going to get Safeguard. It gives shields. Which is awesome, but these are all good stuff. Yeah, we're going to be using you more for support, I think. So safeguard for sure. You channel it and then it shields yourself and an ally. It's amazing. Might upgrade it immediately as well. More range, more potency. What is the range on it? It's only got two range, so the range might be really good. More charge on the heal is also amazing. More range on the heal is amazing. I'm going to get more range on the shield, I think. Longer duration. And 15 defense up here. Push adjacent enemies to the target after channeling. To the target. Okay. And all adjacent allies are but more channel time. And critically shield. I think I'm going to get the range on me shield here. I like that a lot. And some more mending since you do a lot of healing. Some more power, some more health. Sounds good to me. Marketplace, do you have anything for us that's new? You do not. You still don't want our spices or whatever that is. Survive the battle to save Andalon during the prologue. Yay. As promised, here's 300 gold. My employer surfaces again. What do you need? Reports indicate that the void breach is located here. Points to a map. Thankfully, it's underground, somewhat secluded. That's going to be a dungeon crawl, isn't it? Breach stones, a little gift courtesy of our allies. Take a stone, get close to the breach, and it will destabilize. Or so I'm told. Frankly, the magic here is beyond my understanding. It can be fragile. Following void spawn, great. We accept. We won't let you down, Huford. We're the last pride, damn it. Always one or two cabling folk just sitting around, yeah. Telling us about the inn and stuff. We got some pelts and some wine, both of which sell badly in Andalon. Still a bunch of level one guys. I think I'll wait on that gonna buy around and wait let me just check the infirmary I don't think anyone got injured but our guardian yeah our guardian did get low on health uh, rest I was knackered rest for four days then good 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 we're getting a 15% reputation discount in it Good chunk of gold. Nothing much to spend it on. Where are they sending me for this? Down there. No real city. Other cities. Well, I don't know what this is. I'd love to go to another city and buy some stuff. This seems to be a capital up here. I guess I don't need to do this right now. There's no time limit. Let's go to Atherton. They've got a bunch of events going on. Markets have less coin and they buy for less. No, oh, that's that's me buying. It costs me more. Demons as well. A celebration. That's counteracting some stuff. Oh, but the rest is 50% more. Look at that. There's a void breach. Oh. They don't want us to go to another city. Okay. 
I suppose we're going to the Void Breach, but that'll be for next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series, and I'll see you next time.